guys welcome back to my channel so today we are doing an exciting video we are setting up for 17's comeback so their comeback is june 22nd today is june 8th i think so i really need to get my binder together before it comes out um we recently got a preview on twitter and weavers and stuff so i know how many photo cards there are and that kind of thing and how many versions um like for the album and how many versions of photo cards per version of the album and then basically how many photo cards there are for each member and then in total so i'm gonna set those up so in total there are 104 photo cards so there's four versions and there's two photo card versions per version for each version of the album <laughs> this is so confusing but so basically each member has eight photo cards two per so basically there's eight photo cards per member, four versions. So yeah, two cards per version. I don't know, I keep saying the same thing, but yeah. So we're gonna set this up. I'm basically gonna show you how I'm gonna set it up. I'm only gonna set up S. Koops's page cause he's in the front and just to save paper, I'm not gonna do every single page. I'm just gonna set up his page and base every other page off of his. So. That's all we're going to do, but I will put all the pages in my binder and show you that, so yeah. Alright, so here is my little note thing. So I have preparing for 17's comeback. I just kind of put what is happening basically. So like I said, there's 104 photo cards. I'm going to do each member on their own page, so I'm going to have 13 of the 9 pocket pages. And then I wrote that each member only has eight PCs and that there's four versions of um, the album and then two photo cards per version. So yeah. And then I drew a little diagram of how I'm going to set it up. So since there's only eight photo cards, but this is a nine pocket, I'm just going to put the filler in the middle. And then I like doing this, like going around the edge, like this way. Is this clockwise? Yeah, I think it's that's clockwise. So since there's two for the version one, there's going to be two cards here, two for the version two two for the version three and then two for the version four. So that's how I'm gonna set it up. So we're gonna take our page, here it is. All right, so I'm gonna put fillers in them. So I only have, which I guess it works, I only have nine of these yellow ones. Um, and I wanted to do yellow for, because the album preview is like yellowish. And um, yellow is like my favorite color anyway. So um, I only had nine of them, which is convenient. So, but that means I need some for my biases. So, and I don't have any more yellow papers. So I'm gonna use sparkly ones for my biases pages. I'm gonna use these for Joshua and Vernon. And then these two, the pink ones for Hoshi and Dino, just cause they're my alts. Like gold is very similar to yellow. So they still like everyone else, but like they're still my biases too, but they're my alts. So they get like totally different colored, so yeah. Okay, so this is S. Coops' page, so we're gonna put in a yellow one in the center. And then I'm gonna use sticky notes, but I'm gonna tear, or cut the sticky part off, so I need eight of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to set up coops. So I'm going to cut the sticky part off. It doesn't have to be perfect. But now I just have these slips. And I'm going to write fairly small so I can reuse these as well. So, and I'm only, I'm using like a normal pen so it doesn't bleed through the other side. So we're going to write S coops. And then we're going to put, oh, let me zoom in. So we put S coops, then we're going to write version, version, oh, no, oh no, I messed up. Okay. So we're going to write version one type A, since there's two photo cards and I don't really know if there's different backs. So we'll just do A and B. So we'll do this on this one. We'll put S coops version one type A. B, and then we'll do that for the other ones.
Okay, so now that those are all written out, I'm going to put them into the page. So, like I said, we're going to do it clockwise. So, version 1, type A, is going to go in the first spot. Version 1, type B. And then we continue. There is the page. It's kind of hard to see. I'm really sorry. I can't really fix my tripod any higher because it's still broken and I still haven't got a new one, but there it is. So I'm going to base every page off of this. So I'm not going to like make more paper to write. It's just a waste of paper. So I'm just going to base every other page off of his. Um, I just really need it visually written out at least once so I can like see it or else I'll get really confused. Um, and then once we like have more information on like the different versions, um, and then like the different uh, like types for each version, I'll like describe them. Like for You Make My Day and You Made My Dawn, there was like the logo and the banner back, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I'll just like, or like with an ode, there was like the colored back and then like the just the white back. Um, so once we have more of that type of thing, then I will uh, write it on here. But until then, I'll just keep it like this. So now I'm gonna put fillers in the rest of the pages and then we're gonna put these into my binder. So let's go ahead and do that. So next would be Jungan. So he is gonna get a yellow one. Then uh, Sinto Jungan Jisoo is next. Sorry, I still get confused. So since he's one of my biases, one of my second biases, he gets gold. Then we have June. Then we have Hoshi, who is an alt, so he gets the pink. Wanu. Wuji. DK. Then Vernon gets gold and Dino gets pink. So I think for now I'm actually going to, on everyone else's, I'm gonna get like a scrap piece of paper and put like in the corner their name just so like when I do get the cards and I'm like sorting them for the first time um I know quickly which page is for who um so I don't have to like count it every single time just because um I don't know it'll get confusing I have this one from an ode that has Jungan's name on it so I'm already just gonna slide that into Jungan's page but I think for everyone else I'll have to write one out so Let's do that. I just have some scrap paper right here. All right, at the very top so I can just snip it off when I need to use this again. This one's kind of small, so I probably won't reuse that ever again because I hate using small pieces.
this is already says synchrony. Okay, so now we have the pages all set up, let's go ahead and put them in my binder. So let me get my binder. Okay, so I moved back so you could see better, but you can tell that this binder is pretty full because um, I collect OT13, so it's just really thick. So I'll probably need to get a new binder, but for now, the solution I'm going to do is take out these postcards from 17 Carat. I really keep everything that is, even if it's member specific, um, if it's not a photo card, I keep it in a separate binder. The only reason I kept these in here was because there was no actual photo cards from 17 Carat, so I wanted these in here, but they they do take quite a bit of space, and I think if I take these out, I'll have enough room for the new stuff, um, but I probably will just have to get a bigger binder, but for now, I'm gonna put these in my non-album binder, or sorry, my non-photo card inclusion binder, so yeah. So, we will, so, Literally everything in here is photo cards. There's no postcards or anything else, but I um, let those stay in there because there was nothing else from 17 Carat to include in here. But there is like for Love and Letter, we only had bookmarks, no actual photo cards. There were for the repackage, but not for just Love and Letter. So I probably should have taken them out anyway because Love and Letter wasn't in here, but yeah. Okay, so we'll flip past an ode, which I'm very close to being done with. It's very exciting. So this is the back of my binder. So we're gonna go ahead and slip in all of these pages. So I know there are other member specific things for this new comeback, like there's bookmarks and like photo books and that type of thing. I'm not really gonna be collecting those. I'm just gonna keep what I pull, but I'm not really sure how many sets of albums I'm gonna get yet. I'm, I really don't know since there were a lot of photo cards. Um, and I'm going to assume we get two photo cards in each version. So I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna have to get a lot, but I'm not really sure if they told us how many photo cards we get in each version. Once I know that, then I'll be able to determine how many copies I'm gonna get. So I really don't know yet. Of course, I'm going to get at least one set, probably two. And I hope they do M-Wave signed. So there will also be that. So again, I'm just not really sure um, what is like the photo card situation is going to be. So I don't really know how many sets I'm going to do yet. But I'm obviously going to get get some. Probably at least three just because that's what I did for twice. Well, for twice I got four, so I might do at least four for 17 just to make it even. Um, so probably at least four, we'll say that. So it might be more, it might not be. For an ode, I only got three sets of albums, so I might just do four for this one, but I might do more. It just kind of depends on like what K-pop stores have them and that kind of thing and how easy it will be for me to get them. So we'll see, but I'm going to say at least four for now, just because they are my ultimate, ultimate group. Like they're higher than twice. So I will do anything for them. So yeah. Um, and getting four albums, I mean, four sets of albums would be 16 albums. So that's kind of like one album for every member, just a little bit extra. You'd have to get four sets to hit 13 at least. So 
um, I'll probably just get four sets for now. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm like broke. NCT made a comeback, twice made a comeback. Now Izalan and Seventeen are making a comeback. All of my alts are making comebacks. Um, NCT has a lot of units too. So like Wavy, Dream, and 127 all made comebacks. So you can imagine how broke I am. So yeah, we will see, but I'm really excited. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I'm gonna do my binder. I'm definitely gonna be posting updates and things like that on this on my Twitter and Instagram, as well as making videos once the actual album comes out, like unboxing. I'm maybe gonna do a group order. I'm not really sure if there's a lot of interest. If you guys would be interested, let me know. Um, if you would want to join a USA group order for this album, uh, just let me know. I think I'm going to try to do one and just like whoever joins will just do it. Probably won't be as big as my BTS or TWICE ones, but um, I don't know. Hopefully I can get some interest in some people to join them. So just check out my Instagram to see if I am going through with it. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have for now. I'm really excited for this. I hope you guys are too. If you guys are excited to see my journey, I'm a little bit stressed out because there's 104 photo cards, but at the same time, it's not an ode, so it's good. And like, I collected 78 cards for You Make My Day and You Made My Dawn, so I'm sure 30-ish more cards isn't, isn't gonna kill me, so yeah. But that is all I had. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.